As I was diagnosed with unbalanced AVSD, coarctation of the aorta, hyperplastic aortic arch and a smaller left ventricle. In layman's terms, Isaiah has half a heart and he, he functions on half a heart. Um, a, lot of, a lot of kids like him will end up having heart transplants because their heart eventually fails. We first found out about Isaiah's heart at our 20 week scan. Um, it was a huge shock because we were just going in to find out if he was a boy or a girl. Um, the rest of the pregnancy was very crippling and scary uh, because of the unknown. We hadn't met him and we didn't know how bad his heart was until he was born. All anyone wants is a healthy baby and a healthy child. At that point, I didn't care if he was a boy, a girl, um, you know, if he had 11 toes, I didn't care. But the heart is something that you need your heart. And when we found out, it was, you know, it broke my heart. So as I was born on the 16th of January 2015, he came out looking very healthy, um, but he was taken away straight away to NICU. At six days old, he went into his first open heart surgery and wheeling him away and saying goodbye to him as he goes past the red line into surgery um, is absolutely heartbreaking and, and I would not wish that upon anyone. It is the worst thing knowing that your son is going in to have his heart stopped and his chest cut open to give him a chance at life. That breaks your heart because you don't know if that's the last time you're going to see your son alive. No mother or father wants to say goodbye to their son, to their child. Um, no parent should have to bury their kid and you don't want to think, you don't want to think about that. Um, you just feel sick and helpless and I remember going back to the room and um, curling up in a ball and just crying because I couldn't do anything. There's nothing you can do and as a parent you want to be able to help your kids but you can't when it comes to something like that. You can't help them. So you have to leave your, your child's life in the doctor's hands um, and that's what we did. Research for us um, when it comes to childhood heart disease is huge. Um, as I mentioned earlier with Isaiah, he was born in 2015 and he had a good chance. Um, and if you look at him now, he's a happy, healthy boy running around. We know he's got more surgery and we know he's got more hurdles to come. So when I do think about the future, I, I think about positive things like research, like technology. I think it's hope. You, you hold on to that, that, you know, my son was born at the right time, that he will be able to get help. Until you're a parent of a child with congenital heart disease, you don't know how much work, um, how much knowledge goes into, into the health of these kids. The doctors, the nurses, uh, the surgeon here is amazing. Um, without the research, without the funding, these doctors and nurses couldn't be here to save these kids. With everything that we've been through with Isaiah um, and knowing how uncertain the future can be, um, it's, it's absolutely um, humbling to know that there's so much support out there with different organisations. All around the hospital you see it every day at Lady Salento um, and out there funding um, like the Bank of Queensland, it's possible tour. Um, they are really making things possible for families like ours. Um, they're making it possible to think positive about the future.